Where are we at? Top dead center. Which cylinder? Center rear. That's the. Look that's the, the rear. Is. That's the rear. You want to go at the front top Which dead center? Which one's the top dead center right now? The rear. No, front. Look at the lifters. See how high they are? Yeah. See how low they are? Oh. So your top oh, you're just coming up on top dead center, right? Sorry. Yes. Want an overlap? Yeah. See this lifter's moving. Look. Right. One of them moving. Huh. No, they're not moving. I was wrong. No, they're not. None of them are moving. What the hell's going on there? Did you forget to put a cam in? No, it's the back ones are moving. Yeah. See? See how they're moving up and yeah. down? And so, those are, so this is coming up on top dead center compression. So that's top dead center front. CDC. So this one's ready to have the valves adjusted. Because these are not moving and these are moving. That means right. both valves are open right now. These yeah. ones over here are both sitting because it's on a compression. This is on overlap. Yep. Because the piston comes up twice and only fires once. Two strokes is up and down twice, but not four strokes. So if you adjust these valves on this cylinder when you're on the overlap, you're not gonna. when you go around the next turn around, they're going to be about an eighth of an inch gap in the damn thing. They make all kinds of noise. Okay. So you got to make sure the valves are closed when you put them in. So right now we can put the front rocker box down, the valves adjusted on this cylinder. Oh, we're not doing it. We could. If you had the rocker box done. I didn't have the rocker box. If you came by and did it. I know. I, we seem to, that seemed to be a recurring, play at home with your, a recurring uh, theme here that I had not been act, around. Flip you're it doing over. That female activity thing like marriage and wife and daughter. And, and relatives and, and mom and, and sister and, and sister and all that stuff. Yeah. See, if you were stuff a eunuch, you a monk, <laughs> you wouldn't have all those interference issues. And I still wouldn't have two daughters and. That's right. Other, other. See, all, all the problems go away. See, there you go. <laughs> oh, you're just really... Now we're getting into the comedy skit part of this thing. I have to... I have to laugh to keep from crying. What's that? That's lube, that bolt, so it doesn't freeze up. That goes in a hole? Yeah. Don't forget the washer. The washer's there, but the problem is I got lube on my finger, so I can't turn the bolt head. No. Oh, it fell out. It fell on top of those nice polished no. blocks. Like how it scraped them up? Don't scratch my motor. Okay, put the rest of that lube on that bolt. Okay. Clean your fingers off. Clean my finger off. What's this? That's the uh, correct size socket, 7 16 12. 12, so you'll be able 12 to. Point. 12 yeah. points, so you'll be able to put it in there. Otherwise, it'd be a 9 16 6 point. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. That's what we want. Well, this also has been shaved. Ooh, shaved. So it fits inside the motor here. You notice how these bolts get in the way all the time? They do. That sucks. So that means you have to use this tool right here. It just takes a lot more time. But... It takes a bit longer. Some people are quicker than others. So... All right, I gotta sit down again. My damn back is starting to fire up my leg. Oh. There we go. There, it pops in finally. So when you get about halfway in, it clears the nut over here. Yep. And it goes quick. You put a little drag with your thumb so you can go back and come quick. It yep. goes quick. Hard to believe. See, it's not tight, but it got close. Yep. Looking good. Yeah, there's a lot more. Is this the one we rolled it up with the other one? That's the one they had that made the bigger. So the rear one's the one that's been touched. Yep. Modified. Improved. Alright. Coming together. Nope. Why don't you shorten that socket down? Shave it down to where it's a really small socket. Why don't we do that? Why? So you can get in there. Where's your socket at? Well, I mean, I'm going to do one. I'll do one like that. Just so I can have a better tool. I didn't figure that out. How do you figure that out? 
Yeah, but if we shave that socket down, it would. Maybe. I got a bunch of these uh, 12 points in my toolbox. I think I'll. Well, I don't. I'll have to bring one in and we'll have to. Are they snap on? Smirk. We'll have to make That's a experiment. Well, Proto? they're craftsmen. Craftsmen. Old ones or new ones? Mmm. Don't know. Should be both. Old ones are good. New ones are so -so. Yeah. Well, no, they're not new. They've always been, they've been around for a lot of years. Well, these are good, then. See, so, you know I'll, I'll look. I got an old drawer of. Yeah, you cut that down a little bit, but not a lot. Because the bolt's. Cut the bolt is tall. All right. You can you cut like an eighth of an inch off, maybe. Uh oh. Oops, oops. Oh, we already tested them. So I should go in. Hey, you're going across the bench here. Come back! Where are you going? Why is that going so hard? Because that bolt's tight in the head. I thought I checked all of them already. Obviously, they did a lousy job. Hey, hey, hey. Man, it's cocktail time. Still move the head. Hey, got a rattle going on there. I'll make sure I can move the head because I have to adjust it. Yep. Look at that. Looking good. Put it on? No, I put it in now. Should I put the washer on too? Um, I told you not to forget the washer. I said that at the beginning of this exercise. You said exercise, for why? You right? the washer on it yet. See, that's I, why I don't Exercise, at the beginning of this exercise, I, I said don't forget the washers. Yeah, but you didn't remind me in the middle. Uh, I almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot that. That's why you got a Stooges. Goofy fucker. <laughs> I suspect I'm getting tired. But you're getting goofy. I'm getting goofy and tired. Big idea to put all this washing Some on Some people there. call that senility. I call it freaking tired. You do realize I'm supposed to be doing real work around here, not working this clock. Hmm. But I think we're working on this crap so we can get out of the way so you can do real work. That's right. So we have a mission. My bitch was in the way. I'm trying to clear my bench so I can put important jobs on my bench. This is important. Important who? <laughs> Technically, it's not even important. I mean, it's. I want to get it done, but I mean, what the hell? We'll get it done. I got to work on this over here. That's yeah. important. All right. Looks good, though. Good looking in. Just too bad that dumbass didn't buy it when I offered it to him for 500 bucks. 400. Well, I said whatever it was, I offered it to him. Look at somebody ported it. And oh, ain't that pretty? Ground over the exhaust. Ooh, he's got some airflow. That'll be a breathing head. A good breathing head. Hey, I think. Yeah, yeah. There Don't drop it and break a that fin. Goes, friend? Don't drop it and break a fin. Is that how it goes? I don't think so. I think you got it ass backwards, dude. I think them there, that damn near hole belongs on this side. Goes like this? Yeah. Oh, well, it looks like it fits better now. <laughs> I was like, I was a damn tired. Like, okay, uh. Something's not right here. What's what's up here? Something doesn't look right. Do we have intake clamps in the box by chance? No. I don't think so. We got it. We got the. No new box over. I mean the other one? No. Box. I don't know. I'll go take a look while you're. We need, we need some intake clamps. Oh. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we don't have any. Okay, this we we have the they're a wall. Well, that would be absent without leave for you non navy people. <laughs> What's that? Over here? Yeah. Where? It's on the right box. Hmm? Just below the chest high. Two shelves down. The other one. Two down. Chest high.
right box, right on top. I got it. Set. Yep. We don't need to. We got the gaskets. We don't need. We just need to. We just need this. Perfect. They doubled the price and upped out the sales. So freaking dumbass. So you know it's correct. Ugh. Getting close. So these are the stainless steel ones that don't break or strip out as easy as the cheapy ones do. Oh, well, I want the ones that don't break. Me. I said as much. As much. You can still break them. I'm gonna be putting around on this thing. I ain't freaking hot rot riding it. So it's gonna be a nice cruiser. What are you gonna do as fast as your other bike? Hmm? What are you gonna do as fast as the other bike? I'm gonna go fast on the other one. Screaming while well, the other two, I, the big bike I ride as fast as I can. This might be faster than the other bike. Could be. To show it. How could it be? It might be. Okay. I think it depends on the rider too, so. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. You compared to me. You've yeah. seen the video. The other bike's a wing. Of the 49 going down the road when Tatra rides it. looks like it's going to. only an 86 inch, this is 80. The other one's got the crappy SNS hands that are severely reworked. This one has the good Harley heads on it that are reworked. So we're almost equal. It was a stroker motor with a bigger cam. Yep, this has just got a baby cam in it. It has a milder cam with more torque. So yep. this might be faster when you ride it. Because you ride like a baby. It really don't matter. It's going to be a nice ride, though. The transmission looks good. This looks good. I polished the, uh, inter polished the inner primary. Polished the couple of transmission pieces. Man. It'll be a sweet looking ride. Frame is frame is unmolested. No raking, no freaking cutting, no nothing. Well, just rusting. The guy, no, I, I actually sanded it and put some primer on it. We got half ass welded some brackets on it, took them off. We'll put um, like soft tail type floorboards on it. Okay, the heads have the same clearance as the cylinders, yeah? So you yeah. rotate them all the way in. Yeah. Put light tension on them, not heavy, because you want to be able to move them a little bit. Now, normally you have the rocker boxes on here, but Fred was lazy again. <laughs> can we come up with a better word than lazy? Because, you know, I can, you can come up with AWOL, absent without um, Preoccupied with laziness. Time preoccupied with marrying off my wonderful daughter to a very nice guy. Preoccupied with female issues. Uh, like that. At one time it was 10, 10, to, 10 to 2, Jordan and I doing all the heavy lifting and then the, the ladies and then tossing the two gay uh, guys that were they were part of the, uh, the the bride side of the family. The bride side. One was a bride person, maid, whatever you call it. I even told him, I said, <laughs> started counting. It's like 10 women and you two guys. I mean, it's 12 to 2. <laughs> he went, oh, yes, we agree with you, Mr. Spees. All right. He actually gets up. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything, but he gets up like, I was in love with your daughter until I, you know, I was in love with her until I figured out I was a queer. I was homosexual. Oh, yes, I'm a homosexual. This is in front of the whole audience. <laughs> We don't care. <laughs> Not that it matters. Anyway, anyhow. Nobody cares except him. Can you imagine all the police? There was police officers and MMA folks. and. All right, there you go. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. yeah so we're all the way in. Ooh, look out. That's it. So, all the way in. Mm -hmm. See, it's pretty much flush on that one. Yeah. Pretty much flush on that one. Now, just think if we had that all the way out. Yeah, it would not. We'd have a gap like this. Right. Oh, look at that. So, this one's all the way in. Yeah. There's a line up in there. Oh, look at that. That is smooth. That is smooth. Did you let go of it? I did let go. Did you let go? Smooth. Okay, so now we got to tighten things down. You can just down. feel the flow of air going through that manifold into those heads and out the exhaust with... 
collapse the head gasket all the way down. That's a good looking. See how much torque we're going to get with this little ratchet. Yeah. Neva, this would be fully torqued. <laughs> Tatra doesn't think much of Evos. Better than twin cams. They ain't saying much though. <laughs> Always something. Okay, Always. Appears to be uh, pretty good. Pretty still. smooth, yeah. Okay, so I trust torque it. Where's our torque wrench? Right here. Right here. Just short of what you, what you really need. I can get 50 out of this for every reason. Yeah. Gotta do that one a couple times. And they got this back one back here. I'm making my pattern, Fred. I got that. You want to go in a circle, you want to go with these two, then this one, then get the side. Yeah. And then we do it the other way, you tighten up these three and go over there. I usually go over there and do those two first, either way. Can I get the last one? Thank you. Right. What uh, fork was that? 50. I don't think so. In accordance to Tetro. I'm being yeah, lazy. Try it one more time. Make sure Fred's happy with it. Woo! I can see from, I can actually see from this side, it's so, well. Smooth that looks. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a, a little bit too close on this one. Man, you can drive a truck do that. It'll work. Or a hamster. It's not perfect, but it's close. Or a gerbil. <laughs> we're actually not 90 degrees. We're pinched in a little bit. Yeah. But the manifold's too short. The manifold is about 30 thou longer. We can make it exactly 90 degrees. It fit perfect. But they made this a little bit short. Hmm. So we're off. We're good. We already got too much thickness of gas. It's too high. It's just a little bit off. Okay, where's my torque? Torque cord. Torque. Torque wrench. Torque wrench. Seven sixteen. Okay, now this is very important to have a flexible torque wrench like this. You see, it has a flex head. And ratchet. That way, you can go in here and get the back one. When you got the clutch cables right here, and you can't get to yeah. it. You can you can get this in here and get it over the clutch cable. Right. And it also clears the solenoid that's right here on the shovel head. Or yeah. actually on the other side, over that side. But. So you, you need the flex head to do it on the bike. On a bench, you don't have to. But on the bike, you need this flex head to get that offset. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's there. Yeah. You have to have a torque adapter so you can get both sides. Right. So you can't get from this one, flip around and get this way. And over here, 90 degrees, you get from this side. And the biggest thing is you get the ones in the middle that are hard to get to. Okay. How much torque you want? Well, you said 50. 50? There's 52 right there. That'll work. That's close. You were close? I don't know how close it is. Oh, shoot. You weren't even close. That was the elbow. Yeah. <laughs> that popping was not the, not the torque wrench, but the elbow. That was the elbow. There we go. Obviously easier if it's mounted in the engine, right? Yes. Sorry, guys. Close there. He can flip this wrench yeah. around and make to it. To be spin. accurate, you gotta be at 90 degrees. So that's accurate. That's accurate. That's more torque. That's less torque. Oh. Okay. I do this side. Somebody thought he was a genius, said that on the comments. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Let me see. How long is the length from here to here versus when it's down here? I think that's more, isn't it? <laughs> really? Is that really good? Really good. Oh. So that means when I have a longer wrench, I have more torque. Oh, jeez, what a genius! <laughs> be careful with stupid comments. That would be called overeducation. Common sense should have told you that. Uh, I wonder if he says when I, when I keep turning after it pops. He didn't mention that problem. This is always an advisory torque. It's like we actually use it. 
Now, when you're over here, you can't be at 90 degrees. It doesn't clear. See, it hits the fin yeah. right here. Ready to do that one? Just yeah, they did. Did you do that one? Maybe. No, this one I forgot. Oh, I missed, forgot one. I missed one of them. Are you counting in your head? See, it has to be like that because it doesn't fit in the other position. So it doesn't matter what your torque is, you need to do it that way. All right. That's 52. Okay, what are we going up to? 65. Up there? Hey, 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 don't grunt. What's our final torque? 65 to 70, whatever you want to do. 65 works. So. This is the hard part. I'm going to get this side. You holding it? Yep. It'll rotate. Okay. I got it now. Yep. Surprised you don't have like bolts, holes you drop things through here. To yeah, it. I don't like holes on my bench as well. Oh. Hmm. That was close. I can clap it if I wanted to. You could clamp it. Don't drop it. Or I could just hold onto the motor and do it myself. It's trying to come off. Don't drop my damn engine. It's not my engine, I don't care. Well, I do. It's not mine, I don't care. I'm sure you're going to get comments about. Here I'm going to sure you're going to get comments about being too close and not paying attention and yeah. shooting your elbow. You have to hold the other side on this one. All right, coming around. Coming around. Just grab a stand and pull it toward you. Great. Well. Okay. Hang on. Go ahead. Sorry, folks. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not good on. All right. There's only a couple you can't hold on to. One yeah. We've got to come back and retort this anyway because these gas is probably going to squeeze up quite a bit. Yep. Yep, other side. Front end coming out. Go ahead. Torque it on the engine or just back on? Yeah, it's going to be sitting for a while. So. Huh? Did you forget? Miss that one. Yeah, you're going to uh, another year before you finish it up. Oh, it ain't going to be another year now we get this close. <laughs> we get to the finish line. Please get to the finish line. Okay, here's your manifold fit. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Looks good. Inside looks good. Oh yeah. Feels way to hold it. No, you just you're not holding it right. Does that make a difference when I hold it wrong? Yep. Okay, it makes a little difference. It feels better when you hold it right. Yep. <clears throat> Which one's you using? Yep. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Duty heavy. You got the rubber band. What the hell? Oh, sorry guys. Actually, <laughs> you know, the somehow, right now? I, somehow I managed to while we were messing around. It went full zoom. Zoom. <laughs> sorry about that, folks. <laughs>